Hello folks. Well, many people ask me how I was flying my coaxial helicopters upside down. And uh, I'm going to show you how. The first one that I ever did it to was the Blade uh, Scout CX. And the reason these helicopters are so good for that is because the blades are rigid straight across. They don't fold, you know, like the other ones. The second one that I uh, ever did, uh, much more difficult to hover one with the loose blades upside down like this S11G, uh, which you've seen me fly. So the way you do it is you take the top blades and put them on the bottom and take the bottom blades and put them on the top and turn them upside down. Then you tell your brain that this is backwards and this is forward. So that's backward. Also the tail rotor is on this stick, aileron, cyclic. There's no cyclic on this so this makes it turn this way. On a 3D helicopter, normal helicopter, this stick is your tail rotor. And these don't have that. This is your throttle up and down. Now when you go up, the helicopter goes down on a 3D helicopter and when you go down, the helicopter goes up. But on this one, up makes the helicopter go up and down makes it go down because there's no 3D lock switch for the motor to run at full speed so you can't adjust the pitch, there's no pitch. And also when you turn to the right the helicopter turns to the left and so that's way different and you have to do it with the right stick on here because that's where the aileron and elevator is. So just to demonstrate how that works I'm going to go ahead and and show you. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. You can launch by putting it on the ceiling. And then dropping it down. Or Okay, next we're going to fly the MCX with all the glow-in-the-dark blades on it. But first I wanted to show you what happens if you have a helicopter with loose blades and why it is so much more difficult. So with something like this, it's got a lot of weight on the bottom when it's upside down. It's pretty top-heavy, so the slightest bit of movement, you know, you can throw it into it. And I'll go ahead and crash it and show you what I'm talking about. As soon as it starts to wobble a little bit, that's what happens. Again, with floppy blades like this, not the best one to fly upside down. Well, maybe you saw my video titled, My Helicopter Wobbles. Well, this is the same thing. If blades are not perpendicular to each other, they'll be out of balance just slightly. So I always keep my blades tight on my big helis. Full-size helis lock their blades so they don't move and crash into each other when jockeying the throttles. So on this one, I have to be really careful with the fore and aft cyclic. See, too much control because it is controlled by that little horizontal propeller on the back, and that wobble will not stop and a crash is going to result. You see it's starting to wobble now, so... You know, it's also a challenge because on a 3D heli, you go up and down with pitch control. So when inverted and you move the throttle stick up, the heli will go down. 
and moving the throttle stick down makes it go up. But on these, moving the throttle stick up makes it go up, just like normal flying. It takes some concentration to keep from forgetting, but like all machines, they have their learning curves. Remember, you can only do this with helis that have identical blades on top and bottom, so they can be reversed. Well, I know how these coaxial helicopters work without a tail rotor, but many don't. They think the top blades look weird, and they're right. But before I fly my glowing MCX, here is my blade MCX2 flying and how I hide the top blades. And since this is a four-channel helicopter, it flies the most like my big nitros and electrics. So it's pretty fun and safe inside under the black light. Okay, here's the trick to hide the top blade. Just paint the top blade black. And when you turn out the lights, no top blade. Here we go. is the blade MCX. Same thing here, by just keeping the black blades on the top and the glowing blades on the bottom, it looks like a normal helicopter. This is a really fun helicopter to fly to. Well, this Blade MCX, just like the MCX2, has cyclic controls and the ball links are different on the top and bottom, so it just cannot fly inverted. But nonetheless, it is fun to fly, and especially in the black light.